Now that we've opened up to the 50 and overs, and then we're going to really focus on getting the vaccine to those who are the most vulnerable. And of course, we have a whole load of second doses that we need to deliver. Uh, vaccine supply is always lumpy, uh, and we regularly send out technical letters to the NHS to explain the ups and downs of the supply over the future weeks. And what you're referring to uh, is a, a standard one of those letters. But I've set out uh, the details in terms of how we can deliver on the vaccine programme, where we're on track uh, to meet the target of uh, offering to all groups one to nine uh, it, on the 15th of April. I mean, if you think about it, it's currently the middle of March uh, and we've already been able to open up the, uh, uh, to invite all over 50s in. Uh, and we need to make sure that we reach just as high a proportion as possible. And you'll see in the letter, it refers to the focus that's needed on the particularly vulnerable groups. So that's what we're going to be doing to protect as many people as possible. Uh, turning to the issue um, of supply from the European Union, of course, we work with our European colleagues all the time. It's important to set out that um, the Oxford-AstraZeneca vaccine was produced from research that was funded by the UK government, tens of millions of pounds. Um, we set up the supply chain, not just here in the UK, but indeed we uh, helped set up the supply chain uh, in the EU. Um, this vaccine is provided at cost to the whole world, so it's now being manufactured all the way around the world. Um, and we legally signed a contract for delivery of the first 100 million doses um, here uh, for people in the UK, as you would expect, both to ensure that people in the UK can get their jab and also because this is a UK-funded, UK-delivered uh, vaccine. But we're very happy for others around the world to be able to also manufacture it at cost, but at the same time, as um, President, uh, of the, uh, President von der Leyen has said, she said uh, there should not be restrictions on the export of vaccines by companies where they are fulfilling contractual responsibilities. And so the supply of vaccines from uh, EU production facilities to the UK is indeed fulfilling contractual responsibilities, and we fully expect those contracts to be delivered on. You skated over uh, this issue of a fall in vaccine supply like it's some kind of technical issue, but I mean, reading this letter, it feels like a pretty big deal. There are millions of people uh, under 50 who are waiting for their jabs, and it looks like that's going to be delayed. Can you tell the under 50s when they're going to get their jab? Can you also explain to them why people in their 40s uh, who want the jab should have to wait uh, while you try and strong arm people, uh, older people who, who yeah. don't want it. So, uh, and, and could you also just tell us whether th this setback is going to have any impact on uh, the lockdown timetable? Uh, no, um, as I said, the supply is always lumpy uh, and we are on course to deliver the offer that everybody who's age 50 and above will be able to get vaccinated by the 15th of April. I recommit to that uh, today. And of course, you know, these supply schedules have moved up and down throughout this whole rollout. It's absolutely uh, par for the course. Uh, and um, it is a, that, that's why it's a, you know, that is a normal operational uh, letter. Uh, but the critical thing in terms of the readers of the Daily Mail is I can uh, assure readers of the Daily Mail that there is enough supply and we have the NHS across the UK ready to be able to deliver on the offer of a vaccine to all over 50s uh, by the 15th of April. Um, oh, and oh, 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 and sorry, what, what about the under 50s? When, when are they going to get their jabs? Look, looks like they're going to have to wait at least an extra month now. Uh, no, uh, because we're committed to all adults being able to get the jab uh, by the end of July. And we're on track to deliver on that commitment. Uh, so it is uh, that we're making absolutely fantastic progress in the vaccination effort. I'm delighted we're able to open up uh, to millions more people today.